a girl was assaulted and taken to the hospital. But when the doctor saw what the woman was holding onto, they realized the situation with the assailant wasn't so straightforward. Oh, my god, she bit it off. Then I, T, thank you, thank you. All the male doctors at the scene immediately felt uneasy, just imagining the pain. At this moment, the most important thing was to find the perpetrator who lost the organ, otherwise, his life would be in danger. Even though the hospital had reported to the Paul, ICE and searched all nearby medical facilities, they still couldn't locate the criminal. Just when they were at a loss, a man arrived at the entrance, stumbling a few steps before collapsing on the ground, with the area of the missing organ soaked in blood. This guy really messed with the wrong person. The doctor lifted the cover to confirm the specifications. Yes. He was indeed the owner of the organ. It must be reattached now, otherwise, whether he could even survive, let alone carry on his lineage, would be a question. Due to the severity of the man's bite wounds, the surgical reattachment would be extremely challenging. The doctor looked at the girl lying on the hospital bed with a sense of awe, her small frame was surprisingly fierce in action. Faced with the assailant's attack, she remained resolute. Even if she endured a severe beating, she managed to bite off the assailant's organ, as evidence got in the end, after an examination, the girl's innocence remained intact. However, the situation wasn't as favorable for the criminal. His injuries were too severe, making reattachment impossible. They could only stop the bleeding and stitch up his wounds. The doctor handed the severed organ to the police as evidence of his crime, ensuring the criminal would face court proceedings. However, at that moment, the girl in the hospital room suddenly began to experience breathing difficulties. After a medical examination, it was revealed that during her struggle with the criminal, she had suffered a blow to her head. Despite the rescue efforts, she didn't make it, leaving behind her lifelong innocence. The girl's death angered the doctor.